Hello, this video will show you how to stretch an on-premises network to a VMware Cloud Director Cloud backed by NSX Data Center for vSphere. One of the common cases when tenants need to stretch an on-premises network across the cloud site is during on-premises to the cloud migrations. This allows network connectivity between the already migrated and not yet migrated virtual machines as if they are in the same network segment. Layer 2 VPN extends the Layer 2 networks across the sites and allows onboarding tenants without modifying existing IP addresses using by their workloads and applications. Not changing the virtual machine's IP addresses and other network settings give tenants a seamless migration experience. For all caveats and limitations, please visit the link in the video description. In the provider portal, when we open the new menu code L2Stretch for the first time, we see an error message. It is because the NSXV manager is not yet registered. It is required to do this manually as the NSXV admin password cannot be obtained from the VMware Cloud Director and also the thumbprint cannot be accepted automatically. These steps need to be done by the provider as uh, this tab is not visible for the org admins. Next, an L2 VPN server session has to be created in the cloud side. This action can be executed by the provider or as a self-service by the org admin. Since I'm logged in as root, I can see all organizations, VDCs, NSX edge gateways and VPN server sessions created. But uh, if I'm the org admin, I will see only the ones relevant to my organization. To create a new VPN session, we need to click on new. Then we see a dialog box where we need to provide some details. We give the VPN session a name, then we need to specify the local and remote addresses. To make sure that we provide a valid local address, when we click on the info button, we can see the range available for the selected edge. We also need to enter a pre-shared key according to the requirements and select the VDC network or networks that will be used for stretching. Due to some NSXV specifics, only a particular network type is available, routed org VDC networks with sub-interface interface type. Because of the same reason, changing the network selection is not available. If we need to change the selected network, we need to remove and recreate the L2 uh, VPN server session. Until an L2 VPN client session is established, we will see a warning status of the server session. With that, we are ready with the cloud site config. Now let's have a look at the on-premises configuration which the tenants can fully perform by themselves. After successfully deploying the NSX Autonomous Edge, we need to register it in the VMware Cloud Director Availability on-premises appliance UI. This is done in the new L2 Stretch menu. After clicking New, we see a dialog box where we need to give the Autonomous Edge a name and select the VM where it runs. Then we only need to provide the admin password. Once we are done with the registration, we need to configure the edges networks. We cannot modify the management network to avoid losing connectivity to it. We only need to select a trunk network and an uplink network to connect to the remote site. Then we configure the uplink port where we need to specify the IP address and prefix. This is the address that we defined as the remote address while creating the L2 VPN server session. If there is no VLAN to be set, we leave it with the default value of 0. With this, the Autonomous Edge configuration is done. The final step is to create the L2 VPN client session. It is done from the second tab called L2 VPN sessions. Here we can choose which edge will be used in case there are many registered. Then we click new and authenticate with the VCD or Academy credentials if prompted, so we can select the correct VDC and edge gateway for the client session. Lastly, we provide a name to this client session, select the server session that we will connect to and pick the correct client network that will be stretched. With that, our on-premises network is extended to the cloud. We can verify the status of the VPN session in the status column. In case there is some problem, it will be indicated there. Thanks for watching.